We're in the First Warning Weather Center with Jim Spencer, and we're talking about rain. And everybody <laughs> loves to smell it in the air, and it's a sensation that scientists actually study, right? Uh, especially after a long, dry summer like this. <laughs> it smells really good. Yeah, and uh, you folks at home may be about to learn a new word. Scientists do study this, and you'll be able to impress your friends after you learn this one. Here's meteorologist David Yeomans with more. Yeah, well, that smell of rain, which we all love so much, actually has a scientific name because there are folks who study it. It's called petrichor. Here's what happens. When a little drop of rain falls and hits a porous surface, I'm talking anything with little holes, concrete, uh, the pavement, even the soil, there are little bubbles of air trapped in that. So when the, uh, the drop of rain hits it, that bubble of air it turns into aerosols. And just like the bubbles in your champagne glass, it's released and dispersed into the air. Now, there's a reason why humans like the smell of rain so much. Apparently, these scientists say it's because we've evolved to have to know when it rains or where the water is because we need water to stay alive. Interestingly enough, we can smell petrichor, the smell of rain, at the rate of only several parts per trillion in the air. Sharks smell blood in water at parts per billion in the water. Bottom line, humans are more sensitive to the smell of rain than sharks are to the smell of blood.